Hey everyone, we are live on Facebook again. We're waiting for the Instagram connection. I hope things are well on your side this week. Uh, this is the three o'clock live session on a Tuesday. Just like every Tuesday, we are live again. And today we're going to talk a bit about um, Albert. I'm in a corporate job, right? I have a corporate position. I am uh, currently working nine to five. How do I start a business? How do I make the jump? How do I move to become an entrepreneur and to become, um, you know, start my own business and start working as an entrepreneur? How do I make that jump? So we're going to talk a bit about that today. But first, a few announcements. So tomorrow evening on the 3rd of October, we have a how to invest in property seminar. It's in Pretoria. We're going to talk about investing in property, the do's, the don'ts, the what's, the how's, the what you need to do to be able to invest in property. And I'm going to share my journey on property investment and what I did to, um, to do my property investment, tools and tips I've learned, the do's and the don'ts that I've learned through my journey in property investment. We are live on Instagram right now. Sorry guys, I had to figure this thing out and restart the connection. So we are live on Instagram and today we're talking about a corporate person wanting to leave their job to start their business. How do you do that? But first we said on the 3rd of October, tomorrow night, we have our How to Invest in Property Seminar. On the 18th of October, we have our Know Your Business Seminar in Pretoria as well. Both of them are in Pretoria and at the Know Your Business we're going to talk about knowing your business and what you need to know about your business. And then after that guys, we've got some awesome news. We're coming to Port Elizabeth on the 12th. We're flying down, we're going to be there for a couple of days and then on the 22nd we're going to Cape Town. So we're coming down to Cape Town. So we'll see your, you guys, the Cape Townians, down in October as well as the people from Port Elizabeth. Michael, thanks so much for joining on the live session. So, let's get down to business, guys. The question is, Albert, I'm working a corporate job. I'm currently working nine to five. How do I make the jump to entrepreneurship? What do I need to do? What do I have, have to have in place? And what should I do? How, do? how do I facilitate this process? Because what happens is a lot of people work a nine to five and then they want to make the jump into entrepreneurship and then they find themselves in a very rough sea uh, that they can't steer through. And the, the sad reality is that most people that do that after a month or two, they go back, they give in their CV again and they take their nine to five jobs back again. Okay, and that is the sad truth. So how do you do it? Okay, how do you do it? So we're going to talk a bit about that today. If you have any questions, send them through on the live session and we will answer them live. That's what the live session is all about. So the first thing I would say that you need to do when you're working a corporate job, when you're working a nine to five, is to start reading entrepreneurial books. Um, I've been saying this uh, through all of my books and talks and everything. You need to up your financial game. You need to understand business. You need to understand entrepreneurship. So just like you went four years to university or you did that diploma or you got that degree or you did that training course to get your corporate job, just like you did that, just like you went to school, you went to university, you went to college to get your corporate job, you actually studied for a year or two or four years or eight years, you actually went to study to get that corporate job. Now, just like that, you need to study to become an entrepreneur. You need to read the entrepreneurial books. You need to listen to the entrepreneurial podcasts. You need to go to these entrepreneurial events that I just talked about. You need to train to become an entrepreneur. A lot of people think that, hey, I studied so, uh, four years to become an industrial engineer. Now I work as an industrial engineer. But when I want to become an entrepreneur, I can just jump over and become an entrepreneur. No, it's not that easy, guys. It's definitely not that easy. You need to study to become an entrepreneur. Yes, you do not have to go to the university for four years. Although I hear the university have an entrepreneurial 
degree for four years but I don't believe you have to go to a university or to a technical or whatever to study entrepreneurship before you can start but you have to read the books you have to watch the videos you have to listen to the podcast uh, JC is asking good books for entrepreneurs uh, JC I've been uh, I did a live session on all of the books I recommend you can check it out on my YouTube channel but a quick one I went through all of these books giving a bit of detail on them a quick one you can start with which that put that from Robert Kiyosaki you can start with rules of wealth from Richard Templar you can start with Stephen Covey's books with um, Simon Sinek's books and then guys I'm an entrepreneur so obviously you can read my book how to become a millionaire 22 it will give you a good basis on entrepreneurship so that's the first thing guys if you want to make the jump from corporate to entrepreneur you need to get your knowledge straight you need to read the books you need to get the right info you need to train and study to be an entrepreneur okay the second thing you need to gain experience and this is the tough part because when you study a degree as a let's say an industrial engineer and you get into the job you don't really need the experience right you can just walk in and be hired as a junior engineer and start working because there's other guys that senior engineers that can help you there's other CEOs COOs CFOs already in place that pays the rent of the building that have done these projects before that know what to do that knows how to put in a tender documents or how to complete a project that knows how to work with a client the problem is of entrepreneurship you don't have a CEO you don't have a CFO you don't have senior on engineers that's already there that knows what they're doing you are there you are the one right you need to make that business run so while you're still working in corporate you need to gain experience as an entrepreneur before you step into entrepreneurship and that's what they call bootstrapping okay so while you're still working your corporate job you will need to make some time to run your entrepreneurial business so if you work nine to five from now on you're gonna work nine to ten okay because you have five extra hours that you can use to work on your business when I used to be an industrial engineer I would come home at nine at night from the office um, we worked at the office till nine at night then I would come home make food eat at 10 from 10 I would work on my business till one or two then I would go sleep six up six o'clock up again for the next morning at the office so I worked that extra five hours at night on my business and that gave me a little bit of experience it gave me a little bit of how to work with a client, how to do your books, how to do marketing, how to make a sale, how to run a business. Even though it wasn't full force, it gave me a lot of experience. But okay, I did business from primary school. So a lot of those, that experience came along. But you need to build experience. You can't run on the field without ever taking a tackle. You need to take some small tackles as you build your business so that when you get on the field, in the game, and now it's play time, you are strong and tough enough so you need experience so that's the second thing first thing is you need the knowledge you need to read the books you need to get the data the second thing is you need to start building experience even if it's small experience so you need to start bootstrapping right you need to start getting that right third and last thing obviously there's a lot more going into this but i'm going to sum it up in three points for you guys so the third thing is you need to be able to build a buffer a buffer of finances so you need to save while you're still working in corporate save some of that salary or not some of it a lot of it so that you have a financial buffer at least three months some people have six months some people have a year buffer and then they give themselves a year to run this business and if it fails then at least they have that income to retain their lifestyle um, as you jump into entrepreneurship so while you work in corporate build a financial buffer then build a support buffer and this is almost the most important one I do a lot of consulting with entrepreneur or corporate people that's much older they have a family they have a house they have cars they have all of these things that they need to pay and now they want to jump into entrepreneurship and the most important thing that I always tell them is hey you need to get your family on your side you need to tell your wife 
hey, it might be tough for the next few months. Stick with me through this. I have this dream. I have to do this thing. Stick with me through this and work with me through this process. You have to talk to your kids and tell them, hey, there might not be Christmas presents this year. We might not be able to go out every Friday so that they understand the process that you're going through. Because if you have to fight through this entrepreneurial journey and fight with your family or your support system, you're gonna have problems. It's gonna be tough. So if you can at least get your family, your friends, your support system on your side first before leaping into this entrepreneurial journey, then you've won half the battle. Okay, then you've won half the battle. On the live session, we have Michael, we have JC, we have John, Volko, and uh, James, thank you so much guys for joining in today. We're talking about making the leap from corporate to entrepreneurship. Uh, if you have any questions, send them on the live session right now and we will answer it live. So we said the three most important things when making that leap is first, you need to have entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial knowledge. You need to read the books, watch the videos, listen to the podcasts. Secondly, you need to gain experience while you're still working, right? Bootstrap it at night, work on your business, gain that experience. And then thirdly, you need to create some buffers, financial buffers and family buffers to support you throughout this time. Then on a last note, guys, entrepreneurship is not just a thing you do. A lot of people think that entrepreneurship is a fluffy thing and it's gonna be easy. Hey, I've run my business. I've been the manager of this company, so I know how this company works. Um, so I can go start my own company. There's so many aspects of being an entrepreneur that a nine to five worker or a corporate person does not always understand. There is so many facets of it. I mean, in a corporate company, you have the CEO, the CFO, the COO, then you have the HR, then you have the accounting staff, then you have your labor relations guys, and then you have, you have all of these people. But as soon as you become an entrepreneur, you are the one that takes sole responsibility for that company. And that's the biggest thing. There's, in, a, in a corporate environment, there's always someone else you can go to. If you own your own business, you are the last you're the last defense on, on the field. You are the last person there. There's no one else you can go to in your company, right? So you need to, to understand that if you want to jump over, it's not going to be a fluffy thing. It's not going to be easy. It is a profession. It's hard work. You need to be clever about it. You need to understand all of the different aspects and you need to work hard at it. So make sure that you get these three things that we've just discussed get it under the knee first make sure you have what it takes before you make the leap and make sure you're passionate about this and where you're going um unicorn procrastinator um and 63 thanks for joining in and guys, that was our live session today. If you enjoyed it, please send a shop on the live session so that I know that we've provided some value today, uh, some hearts and shops coming through right now. Um, guys, all being said, entrepreneurship is the most amazing thing that I've done in my life. It, it just gives your life purpose and value and fun and enjoyment. And I've, I've been having the best time of my life in the last few years so if you're looking to do that i re definitely recommend it keeping in mind the three things we've discussed today guys have an awesome week good luck with your businesses side hustles and um, entrepreneurial journey see you again next week tuesday on the live session at three and then we can tackle another topic cool guys have a great day see you again next week Yeah.